African professional footballers, playing in Europe and other developed parts of the world, earn good salaries. In most cases, their weekly salaries run into thousands of dollars. This enables some of these players to leave the superstar life abroad. However, there are some who remember the poverty back home in Africa and find ways to give back to the society where they are from. In this video, we bring you 10 African footballers who built hospitals for their people in Africa. At number 1 is Didier Drogba. Humbled by the poverty of kids in his native Ivory Coast, Didier Drogba announced in 2009 that he would use the entire £3 million sponsorship fee from a Pepsi deal to build a hospital in Ivory Coast. The story building is said to have 150 to 200 beds catering for children and adults. According to the management of the Didier Drogba Foundation, which also raised additional funds from donors abroad for the projects, they decided to build five smaller clinics spread throughout the country instead of building one big hospital that may be difficult for many people to reach. Drogba is the former captain of the Ivory Coast national team and he is best known for his career at Chelsea. At number 2 is Sardio Mane. In Senegal, Sardio Mane helped to fund the construction of a hospital in his home village of Bambali. Mane was said to have provided more than £450,000 for the construction of the hospital. The hospital serves 34 villages in the surrounding area of Bambali. The hospital is reported to be the first medical facility in the area. It consists of an A&D department, maternity care, dental facilities, and consulting rooms. Interestingly, shortly after building the first hospital, Sardio Mane again announced plans to build a second hospital which the government and people of Senegal greeted with great joy. Sardio Mane plays as a winger for Premier League club, Liverpool, and the Senegal national team. At number 3 is Mohamed Salah. In 2019, Mohamed Salah donated $3 million to the National Cancer Institute NCI, for its renovation after it was attacked by terrorists. Earlier in 2017, Mo Salah donated over $300,000 to the Tahyamaz Fund, an organization that fights hepatitis C in Egypt. The player also donated £1 million to the Tanta University Hospital for the supply of modern medical equipment. The Liverpool striker also donated oxygen and an ambulance to his home village in the Egyptian region of Garbia. It was aimed at helping locals treat people suffering with COVID-19 infections. At number 4 is Emmanuel Emenike. Former Super Eagles striker Emmanuel Emenike recently built a hospital in his hometown in Imo State, Nigeria. In an Instagram video posted around January 2021, Emenike and his friends were seen driving inside the building. Despite retiring from international football in 2015, the Nigerian forward still fulfilled his promise to the people of his hometown in Imo State. The two-story building is located along the highway, making it very accessible to people who need quality health services. At number 5 is Kanu Nwankwo. Kanu's career was slowed down after he was diagnosed with a heart condition in 1996. The UEFA Champions League winner with Ajax Amsterdam underwent an open-heart surgery at Cleveland Hospital in USA. This made the former Super Eagles national team player to start the Canu Heart Foundation in the year 2000. So far, the foundation has saved over 500 lives. The soccer star also donated an ultra-modern building to the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital. The edifice called the Heartland Building is part of his interest and commitment to helping people with heart diseases. The footballer also told the BBC that he aspires to build one hospital in Nigeria and one each in four other countries in Africa. At number 6 is Samuel Edo. Samuel Edo Phils, former indomitable Lions captain and football legend, constructed and equipped a pediatric center at Du Arla La Quintinai Hospital in Cameroon. The project worth about £1 million is Edo's way of reducing the rate of infant mortality as well as childbirth-related complications for women. It stems from the Samuel Edo Foundation and has been dubbed Pavilion Samuel Edo. During the inauguration ceremony, the footballer said, it is important for people to make such contributions so that future mothers can have a place to receive medical care. At number 7 is Salomon and Bonaventure Kalu. The brothers from Ivory Coast own the Kalu Foundation. 
Under this foundation, they established a kidney dialysis center in Bua K, Ivory Coast Second City, located in the middle of the country. This property is believed to have more than 16,000 dialysis machine and 14 generators. It's reported that hundreds of patients across the country receive treatment in the facility. Speaking about the center, Salomon Kalu said, When we created the foundation, we wanted to be sure of having a lasting impact and not do things that had no tomorrow. Salomon Kalu has been an ambassador for the Ivorian Emergency Medical Services, SAMU, whose responsibilities include providing blood dialysis. The foundation is said to have given out over $600,000 in donations to support charity in their country. Salomon Kalu is a renowned Ivorian player who made waves with Chelsea. While his brother, Bonaventure Kalu, is a professional footballer who played for teams like Paris Saint-Germain. At number 8 is Moussa Dembele. In 2020, Moussa Dembele paid an incredible £180,000 to build a medical center in Mali. It is the first of its type in the Kabiri village, where his father was born. The project provides first aid, nursery, and maternity care. The medical center also supports 17 surrounding villages. Moussa Dembele is a French professional footballer who plays as a striker for Ligue 1 club Lyon. At number 9 is George Ware. The former captain of the Liberia national football team, who is now the president of the country, promised to build the hospital in 2018. The 150-bed hospital, constructed at the largest military barrack south of the capital Monrovia, is named the 14 Military Hospital. The name is in honor of the number 14 jersey, which the former football star wore for his national football team. The hospital is Liberia's first military teaching hospital. It's exclusively for use by the armed forces of Liberia and other security forces in the country. The project is said to have enjoyed some financial donations from the Indian government. Mr. Ware captained the national football team until his retirement from the game in 2004. He played for European clubs like AC Milan, Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea. He is the only African to win the FIFA World Player of the Year. After he retired from football, he entered politics and was elected president in 2017. At number 10 is Steven Apia. Ex-Ghana captain and Juventus midfielder Stephen Apia is also said to have built a free antenatal community clinic for the less privileged in Chakor, a poor community in Accra, Ghana. The Step-Up Mother and Child Center, based at Chakor where he was born, was personally funded under his Step-Up Foundation. The center helps to advise young mothers on antenatal issues, disseminate messages to fight teenage pregnancy, encourage good parental care, and dissuade the youth from social vices. Talkin about the project, Apia said, the Mother and Child Center is a good initiative which will benefit the backbone of our nation. That is, our lovely mothers and kids. Thanks for watching, please subscribe before leaving.